Welcome home, neighbors. Welcome home, neighbors. Hello, neighbors. We're listening from Arizona, Florida, Maryland, New York, New Jersey, Indianapolis, California, Utah, Utah, Michigan, Iowa, Massachusetts, Georgia, Canada. Our home resort is Animal Kingdom, Polynesia, Bay Lake Town, Old Key West, Lovia, Boardwalk, Kalani Resort, Milton, Boulder Ridge, Hopper Creek, Grand Floridian, Syracuse Springs, Beach Club, and Wilderness Lodge. And you're listening. To and you're listening. You're listening, you're listening to, to my, to my, 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 Well, welcome home, everybody. My name is Chad Pennycuff, and this is the Community Hall Live podcast. And this is episode 11, recorded live live stream to Facebook and YouTube on September 6th, 2020. And I would like to thank our sponsor for today's episode, DBC Rental Store. So you can save thousands of dollars on guaranteed reservations through dbcrentalstore.com. <clears throat> right now, a lot of people can't come back in and use their points. So you've got international people from Canada, third party countries, UK. They can't make it over here due to the COVID crisis. So there's kind of an abundance of points available. So go ahead and reach out to them. You can get points for as low as $10 a point. I just updated the dues chart today. And a lot of our dues are seven, eight, even $10 if you own Vero. So you can essentially get points to rent for just the cost of dues these days. DVCRentalStore.com, let them know you heard about them here on the My DVC Points platform. So that being said and done, I want to come back in and ask everybody to subscribe, like, and share. If you could, let's get the show out there. Hit that like button for us. That really kind of helps us get some visibility. And today's episode is all about extended weekends. And this is a topic that came up last week at the end of the show when we asked everybody, hey, what do you want to talk about on the next live show? Somebody said, let's talk about what, what resort would be the best resort to stay at for an extended day stay weekend. So there's 10 federal holidays. I looked them all up and we're going to come back in and talk about the best DVC resorts for extended weekends. And to help me carry on this conversation, I'm going to welcome back our producer, Gina. So, Hi. hey, Gina, how you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Oh, good deal. Glad to have you back. Okay. And you're not at home today. You're No, we are on our Labor Day weekend, extended weekend in Las Vegas. Since our parks are closed, this is the next closest theme park area. <laughs> oh, gotcha. That's right, because you live in right there at the Disneyland area yeah. as well. So, and then I want to welcome back our co-hosts for the DBC Newscast Show, and welcome back to the show, Pete. Hey, Chad. Hey, Gina. How are you doing? Hey, Pete. How are you today? Doing really well. Uh, enjoying the long weekend. You know, it's nice to stay home for a long weekend every now and then. That's what I'm I'm well, figuring a lot out. Of staying at home lately, but yeah, it's it's, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's been nice. Uh, we we've, we've done a few things, but mostly just hanging out and taking care of the home. So it's been nice. Awesome. And now I want to welcome back to the show, Mr. Brad Coates hey, from everybody. the DC Roundtable over at Resort Loop. Hey, Brad, how you doing today, buddy? I'm doing awesome, Chad. Always love hanging out with you guys. Oh, good deal. Good deal. Good deal. So we've got our question tonight of best resorts for a DVC extended weekend. Okay. If you can't tell, I'm kind of a big fan for Old Key West for these, okay? <laughs> so you'll be seeing a little bit of Old Key West votes coming from me coming up. Uh, just decided to rock it as the green screen tonight because I'm kind of missing that sandcastle <laughs> slide. But, so let's, we're just going to walk through all 10 of these holiday weekends that are coming up. And so we'll ask everybody on screen. We'll just go around the corner, Gina, Peter, Brad, myself, and then we'll ask the audience what they were up to for, for that weekend. Okay. So the first one is New Year's weekend. Okay. Gina, where are you going? Oh, for New Year's, I'm at Bay Lake Tower. Definitely. Oh yeah. Definitely. Yep. No doubt. <laughs> Pete? That that would that would have been my first pick, Bay Lake Tower or Grand Floridian, but yeah, Bay Lake number one. Yep. What about you, uh Brad? We'll make it a clean sweep. Definitely. I mean, how can you miss that with yeah, the, the yeah. view of the fireworks? That would be amazing. Yeah. Now, yeah. if I was to go give the caveat and go maybe try something new, I might try Riviera. Oh, get okay. a view, Actually, uh, that would be, 
enjoy that. But yeah. eh, it's not going to beat out Bay Lake. So. Exactly. No, that's like a no-brainer. <laughs> but can't, if you guys booked all the rooms, then I'm going to Riviera. <laughs> Got it. Well, I own Bay Lake, so I am definitely going to Bay Lake. And if I'm not there, I might just splurge on a Poly Lakeview room and hope and pray that I get the top two floors. Okay. <laughs> so that there is a lake view and not a bungalow view. Okay. <laughs> That's what I would hope and pray there. But let's see where some of the, the audience is going to go on New Year's weekend as well. And... So, well, Craig kind of jumped ahead of us a little bit and said on Columbus Day, he's taken the three-bedroom Bay Lake Tower. So, and yeah, so that's kind of cool. And I don't see any other comments out there as well. So we got New Year's weekend, okay? And next up would be MLK weekend. Walking around again, I'm come out of it. Okay. So MLK weekend, we'll just jump over to Pete. Okay, Pete, where are you going? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, middle of winter, I'm going to go somewhere that uh, it's going to feel warm. So I think uh, I think I would probably go with um, probably going to to uh, the Poly. I think if I'm going if I'm going for Labor Day weekend, I want to go someone that's going to have a tropical feel because even if it's uh, not going to be the warmest, uh, you know, January is not necessarily going to, you're going to get warm temperatures in Florida, but at least it's going to feel like I'm in the tropics if I'm walking around at that resort. That's my pick. Awesome. What about you, Brad? MLK. And I was kind of thinking along the same lines, I'd probably go with Beach Club. Okay. Yeah. Give me See, that. Now I'm going to, I'm going to avoid, way. I'm going to avoid Beach Club till it's spring or fall. Okay. Or summer. Because you could get them dicey January days. Like, I was there last January, and it was 32 degrees. Like, <laughs> and I ain't going into Storm Along Bay and that happening. So, <laughs> but I can tell you where I went last time. It was near MLK weekend, and that was the tree houses at Saratoga. And that was incredible because they were not sold out. So, you could have two parking spots there. And it was just a really good remote time. And... I'm, can't gotta love the tree houses, okay? I don't know if I could do them in like a, a heavy park time, but when we were just coming back in to just burn off a couple of pop into a park, burn off our fast passes, and hit Disney Springs and some restaurants and just relax. Tree houses were a great option for MLK. Gina, did we get your mic issues fig yes, figured out? Figured out. Okay, okay, so I thought about I actually have time too to think. So I'm thinking Saratoga because you're right there at the springs and can walk mm -hmm. over to the springs. Or Old Key West, because then you can just take the boat to the Springs. So if it's just a quick weekend, I think I'm doing a Springs, Disney Springs weekend. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And so, well, the audience is a little behind us as well. So I'll catch up with some of these. I forget that there's a, a delay on Facebook of at least 20 seconds. So, yeah. but Ron was saying, um, Poly Lakeview, third floor, Morea. Oh, yeah, for New Year's. There you go. Probably yep. for New Year's. It and then, up high. You can see it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, Mark was saying Bay Lake Tower for New Year's, yeah. and yeah. I think that's one of the main reasons why you own Bay Lake Tower is to get 4th of July and New Year's for them bonus right. fireworks shows, yeah. right? Yeah. And Holly says that they accidentally booked MLK Weekend for Copper Creek at the 11 months and didn't realize it until she put in for vacation. But she loved having the boat to Magic Kingdom and a view of the water pageant, also Geyser Point. And the kids were even able to sneak a trip to the splash pad pool on a warm day. Yes, 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 yes. And Marcus, he's hanging out with the animals over at uh, oh, nice. Animal Kingdom on MLK. So, okay, next up, the next holiday is, and it kind of goes Valentine's Day slash President's Weekend, depending on how you want to come back in and play this, right? So we actually get the day, and it's usually right around Valentine's Day. And if yeah. you play your cards right, you can sneak it both ways, okay? But it's also like run Disney peak time as yeah, well. Yeah, so that that week, we, we actually, the Northeast has vacation that whole week. Um, so living in New York, we get vacation that whole week. And the next weekend, the weekend after President's Weekend is run is the princess half marathon oh, weekend oh so that that week in general is a pretty busy week at disney 
Uh, and it can be even worse depending on when Mardi Gras falls because uh, Mardi Gras mm. Gras can fall the same week, in which uh, case not only is most well, of might... New England there, but most of Louisiana is there too. <laughs> Okay, that might change my <laughs> where I want to stay. Yeah, I was <laughs> kind of shocked to hear that. If you don't have a business that works for Mardi Gras, you get the heck out of town. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. That they well, because a lot of the kids have a long weekend for Mardi Gras. They have okay. Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, that's off. a good point. So it sometimes that's falls definitely the same as, a good as, point as Presidents Day weekend. So yeah, it can be there can be some crowds there. Not every year it falls like that, but it it does occasionally. It could. Hmm. So, but um. I, um, it's a, so it's we've been a couple times that week, not for just a weekend, uh, but I, I would lean towards probably staying at my home resort because I know how busy it is that week uh, and uh, having, um, uh, you know, Animal Kingdom. That's where that's one of my home resorts. And that's a, a great week to be at Animal Kingdom because it's uh, end of February. It starts warming up so you can use the pools and everything like that. And, you know, it's but it's still cool enough. The animals are really active. So that would be oh, my that's, pick. Yeah, there you go. Brad, where are you going? So if I'm running, <laughs> then I would be probably are we able to say a resort more than once? Because I'd be back. Mm -hmm. at yeah, yeah, sure. Because it's nice and close. It's easier to get to the starting if you get in that region there, maybe Riviera. Um if I'm running, but if I'm not running, uh, then I want to be somewhere where it's quiet and I want to get away. So I might go to, um, I might go to Copper Creek, Boulder Ridge, kind of that mountain okay. field, quiet, setback, serene. Yeah. yeah. While all that craziness is going on. Mm -hmm. Plus then I'd have the boat hopefully to get over to the parks and not have to deal with the streets. Cause that's one thing buses during race weekend is, Stay away yeah. from resorts with buses. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it gets uh, crazy. Good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. I know at MLK weekend, that's typically a, you have to book a home resort. Yeah. And if I could get Old Key West there, I probably would. Just because I know the crowds and all that are insane. And I'm going to want to have my own car so that I can drive around just and not have to deal yeah. with the crazy buses. So Old Key West in your old car and you get a little bit more elbow room between you and other people, elbow room at the parking lot. So I'm going to want my elbow room on President's Day weekend just due to that run Disney craziness that that, that comes up. It's a good yeah. thought. So, yeah. yeah. Gina, where are you at? So I actually agree with Brad and doing the Copper Creek Wilderness Lodge, staying away, being in the wilderness, calming down. And then, yeah, if I did do the run, it would be Boardwalk. I would want to stay at Boardwalk for the run Disney event. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. I've yet, I've yet to do a run Disney at the world. So we'll wait. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So you, that's on yeah. your bucket list, it yeah. sounds like. Because I've done land. I've done land. I've not done world. By the okay. way, Peter, I was out there for the last half marathon at Disneyland. Oh, yeah. So what's happening? I'm back. I want to come back. I love yeah. races out there. So there we, <laughs> we don't. Got it. Well, Ron saying President's Week for us in Buffalo, New York. February is a beautiful hey, Ron, month. I'm for Buffalo too. Yep. <laughs> so Port Orleans, Riverside, Magnolia, uh, the building oh. to love to take long walks along the water. Hmm. So okay, not even Ron's not even using points on that one. So he's nope, cash only. <laughs> he's going well, cash on say, that. Again, one. it's right around Mardi Gras. So going to the Port Orleans resorts. Uh, either you could probably get or, a little bit of a Mardi Gras yeah. bonus, yeah. bonus get a, get a little, there. That's a little bit of that going on. So yeah, uh, now I now I'm seeing the the wisdom there. Now that Pete points it out, okay. <laughs> but Mark Coppola is saying for Valentine's Day or President's Day weekend, Copper Creek, away from the races and near my wife's birthday, and it's our home resort which you love. So awesome. And then Evelyn says that you know we bring our car all the time. That's great, and that's awesome. So I usually end up renting one about half the time, depending on what's going on and, and how busy I am and how much part time I'm planning on. Yep. So, okay, that covers President's Day weekend. Gina, what's next? We have I'm, Memorial Day. Yeah, Memorial Day. And uh, Gina, where are you going for Memorial Day? So, this is to honor America, the start of summer, it's a Polynesian weekend. Cause you're starting the summer, you wanna be on the beach, you wanna have that Hawaiian feel, it's definitely the, the Poly. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Pete, what about you? Um, I think for Memorial Day weekend, well, let's see. We were supposed to be at Bay Lake Tower this past year for Memorial uh. Day weekend. So I'm going to go with that because I was really looking forward to it. We had a Magic Kingdom view room, and um, I, would, I, I was really bummed that that got canceled because I was really looking forward to that experience. So that's going to be my pick just for nostalgia to reason. Yeah, to make yeah. up for lost <laughs> time. I got a cat in my way here, sorry. <laughs> Cats just photo bombing you. Happened. Yeah. I live here, man. <laughs> Brad, what about you? So if we're allowed to not have to be on property, okay. I'd go to zero. Now, and, and we're talking, of course, we're talking about what we'd like to do, not what we yeah. need to pull off. Because May right. and not owning it, Vero might not happen. But, yeah, uh, yeah, holiday yeah. weekends in Vero or yeah, Hilton Head. Tough, tough. Not, but, nothing yeah. during the summer month. But know. if I got my choice, I think that's where I'd kind of like to go. But if I'm on site, I, I am probably over with Gina and hanging out at the Poly. Kind of kicking off the summer. And I'm a beach. I'm a cruiser guy. I like to cruise. I like the beach. Uh, I scuba dive. So that I'm into that, the sand and beach experience. So I'm with you. That's kind of how I'd launch my summer. So Got it's it. not a federal holiday, but it's a very popular DVC weekend. That's also in May. We didn't mention Mother's Day. Oh. Where would, where would you, where would you take, you know, where oh, that one's easy. That's, that one's, that's, that's wherever mom says, that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's wherever mom that's says, that's like that, that, that ain't okay. even a discussion. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. What's you know, my wife's favorite resort. Okay. That's what honey says. I want to go here. Yeah. That's what happens. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, come on now, Pete, that, uh, that ain't even up for a debate. <laughs> you know, so. There's no choice. <laughs> there's no choice there. But I can tell you for me, and I actually did this one, one Memorial Day was I went to Grand Flow. And the reason why is you've got that Victorian feel that kind of gives me the Liberty Square vibe, okay? Mm -hmm. When you take that Victorian era back some, it kind of has that old timey, slightly formal. And for me, Memorial Day is a time of, of reverence. It's a time of formality. It's a time to thank those who have, have you know, served and given their life up so that we can have freedom, okay? To me, that just kind of pairs well with the formality of the Grand Flow, okay? So that's why I'm, I'm picking Grand Flow for Memorial Day. Yeah, that's a good and, one. And it's interesting, yeah. we all picked uh, Magic Kingdom Resorts, <laughs> yeah. Monorail Resorts, but Magic mm -hmm. Kingdom Resorts. And I, I think something about Memorial Day feels Magic Kingdom. Yes, definitely. You know, yep. it's the, it's, it's yeah, the park that true. honors, it's the park that most honors like the ideals of America. So yeah. I think that's, I think that's probably why we all subconsciously were like, oh, it's it. gotta it be, be, it's gotta be a magic kingdom. Yeah. The flag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That That's probably a pretty good, yeah. good comment here. So uh, Mark was saying, Polly, our first trip together, and this would be the way to kick off the season for Memorial Day. Vicky era, Vicky backs me up and says Riviera for mom here, right? Yeah. And then our buddy Willie says Memorial Day is the start of summer in Florida. For us, it's been Polly or Old Key West for summer vibes and Boardwalk Villas once the Epcot access to check out Flower and Garden opens up. That's, that's yeah. a good point. That's a good one. Huh? Yeah, that is. A, you, I can see the whole summer vibe thing kicking in, right? Mm -hmm. Although I'm going to argue it's always summer in Florida by Detroit standards. So, um yeah. Except for in January. <laughs> Except for in January, it's pretty cold. <laughs> yep. And then Evelyn says Mother's Day, Copper Creek for eight days. Evelyn, was that your pick? Okay. Are you are you down with this as what mom wanted? Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's Memorial Day. And now we're circling back over to Independence Day, July 3rd and 4th. And I can see a sweep coming on this one as well. Okay. <laughs> well, if I don't have to stay on property and stay, well, if I have to stay at a different resort, it's Disneyland. I'd rather be at Grand Cal Disneyland. But since if I'm in Florida, it's Bay Lake. <laughs> oh, you could go. Hey, you could you could definitely. It's a DVC resort. Okay, this is so the Grand best. Cal. I'm choosing Grand Cal. I love I love Disneyland on Fourth of July. I love it. Got it. Yeah. Okay, Pete. I, the the initial thought is 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 Bay Lake, but I am going to go. 
beach club because I am in the heat of the Florida summer and I am going to want that pool. And <laughs> that's 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 where I'm going to pick. It isn't necessarily going to be the best place to see the Magic Kingdom fireworks, but um, you know I can I can check out the Epcot Fourth uh, uh, of July, uh, whatever the new pro show is going to end up being, and then uh, uh, I can otherwise be there. Epcot for, whenever uh, enjoying that pool <laughs> <laughs> instead of Epcot forever. Ep Epcot whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Or Epcot, whichever we, we yeah. don't know. And whatever. Yeah, whatever is what I went with, right? Because we don't know when that's coming back. Okay, that's good. And I'm going Magic Kingdom view, Grand Villa, Independence Day, and I'm having a big listener meetup. Okay, oh, that is that's on my bucket good. list because I will have four balconies to stock full of people. And top of the world will be closed for you've got to pay to play. We'll just open it up and and host a little party there for the My DVC Points community and those who listen to the show and follow oh, us. I'll be there with my mask on. So there you go, right? And so yeah, that's that's what I'm doing on Independence Day. It is on my bucket list, and I am like dead serious about pulling that off one of these years. If it wasn't for my Alani trip next year, I'd be pulling it off and. If the fireworks are going on, not spending those points if no fireworks. <laughs> if, I, if I'm getting to do my choice, then you, I'm glad you kind of did go before I had a chance to go because I'm with you. Unless I've made you mad and I'm not, not on the list anymore. I'm with you. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, guess what, Gina? We Disneyland fans, we got to stick together. I'm okay. hanging out with Grand California with you. So, yeah. <laughs> got it. Got it. Gina almost convinced me to like, hang out in Disneyland on the way back from Alani this year yeah. and, and snag a, a grand villa there. But we decided to go for five days there as opposed to two nights. So that's what see, happened to that one. See, Pete's boss has showed up again. Yeah, yeah no kidding. <laughs> we know who runs your house. We know. Yep. yep. And so some of the other comments here, oh, uh, Evelyn says that was her choice. And okay. Uh, Michael Tampas says Fort Wilderness Lodge, which would be Ooh. another really good Davy Crockett kind of a uh, independent a kind of a, a, a camp, cabin or camp, Michael. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be camping anymore. That ship done sailed. But the cabin, yeah. that might be <laughs> yeah. you know. Well, I mean, uh, if you're rolling in with an RV that's air conditioned and yeah, 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 yeah. the hookups and like. Camping ain't, camping ain't camping ain't yeah. camping anymore here, right? Yeah. These guys have, have taken this up to the next level, right? <laughs> right? And then Mark says, 4th of July weekend. He's not going to Disney <laughs> because it's way too hot. I'll yeah, see you in the fall. Okay. <laughs> Mark, it's a perfect time to hang this, out this in theoretical, New York. This is theoretical, Mark. Come on. <laughs> Come to Disneyland. It's, it'll be yeah. not yeah. hot. Not as yeah. hot in July. <laughs> yep. But Ron was saying, as educators, this is when we go. Polly all the way. Hot, hot, hot week. Cool. Convenience of the monorail to MK and Epcot is a must. Fireworks from Bay Lake Convention oh, Center hard. parking lot. That's <gasps> monorail back, no traffic to deal with. That's so, okay. yeah, there you go. That. Okay. But, Ron, you're going to come up to my listener meetup if you're there, buddy. Yeah. So, <laughs> you got the inside track. Okay. And then Michael oh. was saying is oh, over at the lodge. God. Not at okay. Cabin. Okay. Okay. So, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So next holiday would be Labor Day. Where we and are now. Where we are now. Okay. So, Labor. Go ahead, Gina. Well, this is a hard one because every Labor Day I'm in California, so again it would have to be Grand Cal because I live here and it's just I don't I can't see myself getting on a plane for one like a three day. So it's got to be. California. But I from from Memorial Day, I'll fly out. I'll fly out anytime in the summer. It's just school just started, so I'm like I'm staying in California. <laughs> okay. Heat Labor Day, best resort. Well, I've been to, for Labor Day a couple times, and I think we've been at um, Beach Club at least twice for Labor Days, and that's again similar to what I said for uh, July Fourth. I want to when it's hot. I want to be where there's a great pool. And I can spend my afternoons at the pool. Um, my other choice would probably be 
uh, the Poly, I think, because for the same reason, it's got a great pool, great location, uh, got that kind of tropical feel. So I think one of those two. Oh, okay. I mean, good luck finding a chair at the Poly when it's open, okay, <laughs> on a holiday weekend. But <laughs> I'm picking I'll up what you're laying down. Quiet, I'll ride a cabana and go to the quiet pool. How's that? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Those, Brad? Those, camp, those cabanas at the quiet pool are a good deal. Uh -huh. Yeah, they are. Pete, uh, Taser goes a long ways. I'm just saying. So. <laughs> so she's I don't know. They passed out and they fell off, but uh, chairs open. So. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? I've already been to Beach Club twice, or I might be over there with Pete. So I'm probably going to go over to the boardwalk. I like me some crazy clown pool. So I'm probably yeah. going to go hang out at boardwalk. I haven't been there yet and want to hit them all. So I'll hit them as many as I can. Yeah, I'm torn on this one, okay? Really, really, really torn, because I'd kind of like to sneak over to the beach resorts, okay, Vero or Hilton Head, but I don't know that I'll be able to handle the traffic, right? For me on a three-day weekend, I, I'm going to want a Magical Express Labor Day just because of the Labor Day traffic and all that stuff. So I'm probably not getting a car here. So that's going to put me back at Beach Club. Cause that's my go-to jam for hot weather. So I, I'm, I'm there with you guys. So, but um, let's see where everybody else wants to go. Okay. And Oh, Mark is with us at beach club. Okay. Uh, if he did go this time of year, it would have to be beach club. And then Willie says always been the poly for labor day home resort to celebrate the birthday. And this year we tried animal kingdom jumbo for the value studios but it sounds like the birthday celebration just wasn't quite there at Jumbo, right? Oh, and I'm, I'm going to add another reason for Beach Club on Labor Day, and that's because nowadays food and wine starts on Labor Day weekend. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to Epcot. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's on all year, so, you know. Well, that's year. That's year it is. You, it you used to have to do a thing because it would be gone in a you know, couple months, but now, yeah. <laughs> no, but that's a good point. It's only like 98 days a year. It's <laughs> exactly. That's a very good point. Get in through the side entrance. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's pretty awesome. And so, Gina, what do we got for our next holiday here? I now think we're looking. Well, I'm going to say where I'm going to be this year. So, if it was my perfect world, I'd be staying at Beach Club for Columbus Day for the Epcot food and wine, definitely. And that would be my whole purpose for going. Mine, mine is mine for Columbus Day. It's a little cooler. The pool's not as important to me. Uh, boardwalk is where I want to be in October or November uh, during the food and wine season. Perfect location. It's also great for walking over to Hollywood Studios. So that's that's that's. I actually like that resort better than Beach Club. We we had that discussion uh, a couple weeks ago, but yep, yep. I think in I think in the heat of the summer, I'd probably rather still be at Beach Club. But uh, you know, once we once we hit October and it's not so scorching hot, I would uh, I'd rather be at Boardwalk. Got with, it with that creepy clown. Yep. Yes. <laughs> so I guess for me, if I'm looking at it, I'm I'm um, following the theme of trying to do some other. Uh, new resorts, and they're not really tied to the theme of that holiday. Really tough to tie it. Um, with just what Pete said, adding on to it, I can go into the Riviera. Uh, mm. Mainly because, not because it's really tied to this, but it's it's an elegant place. Uh, I got to stay mm. here there, what, a week ago when we were there. Um, Chad and I were both mm -hmm. down at the world. and So I got to stay there. A lot, I've actually grown to really like it. And I, that Skyliner to Epcot, was so quick and simple and easy. I could get right down there, get in for food and wine, enjoy the boardwalk. Um, there was nights when I would just get on it and ride it to go somewhere. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be at the Riviera. Okay. I like it. I like it. I'm still sticking with, with Beach Club on this one, okay? Cause it's still warm enough to enjoy the pool. November could be a slightly cool, but it really doesn't start cooling off in Florida until like November-ish from what I'm told. Yeah. So it's going to be hot there no matter what. So I think it's still hot enough to enjoy Beach Club. Oh, yeah, and definitely. I'm definitely going to end up taking that in for Columbus Day because, yeah, just magical express me down there to the Beach Club. I'll go eat food and wine, boardwalk, maybe pop over to Magic Kingdom for a little bit. Okay. Maybe not. Like, I'm definitely going to hit the Epcot boardwalk. Fine. 
Beach Club pool. That's my Columbus Day as well, right? And so uh, Mark is saying he's with all of us. He says any Epcot resort would do. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. Gina, did we get your answer on this one? Yeah, I was Beach Club. Okay, okay. And then Ron was saying he went this time of year. He's thinking boardwalk. And so, but he's also thinking Boulder Ridge. Okay. So you can't go wrong with, with, any, with, of well, them. <laughs> any of them. Any of them. No, no, no. So, okay, then. Yeah, and, and let's be honest, Columbus Day weekend, you're probably going to your home resort. <laughs> right. Because right. yeah. it's, it's a super, it's one of the busier DVC weeks. So, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's it's right there in about Jersey week sometime too, right? It, it can yeah, overlap it's, that. It's, and uh, Jersey weeks, I think more towards the beginning of November, but Columbus day, just, it's a lot of locals. You get a lot of people uh, in the Northeast having long weekends, taking their kids out of school. It's just, it's probably one of the top four weeks for DVC. So, um, and it's still in the heart of food and wine. So there's, right. yeah. Like yeah. So it's, too. it's really, you know, you, Seems got like Halloween, you got the Halloween parties usually, I mean, this year you don't, but uh, it's a very it's popular. It's like some of my, in, my Colorado in, teacher friends have the whole week off right around yeah. there as well. Yeah. So it's, it's a busy, it's a busy week normally. Yeah. Okay. Um, so after Columbus day, we have veterans day and which again yeah. is, is another crazy busy weekend. Like we love our three day holiday weekends and it, it's just crazy busy there because food and wine's still going on. Yeah, off, often uh, the wine and dine marathons mm -hmm. so right marathon, around that weekend. That first, it's that weekend before, I think, but yeah, it's right around yeah. there. People will hang out. Yeah, you're right. It's the weekend before. Yeah. yeah. But people will yeah, people take out. a whole week vacation yeah. and. <laughs> leaving around then yeah and and it used to be though they extended it it used to be the end of food and wine was on veterans day itself on the oh, month well, on the monday of veterans day so um but uh, now family. they've extended it and it goes almost to thanksgiving so it, okay. it's it's not as bad but it was there was one year we went that year and uh we thought oh let's go the monday because they've extended it to monday it won't be so crowded and it was crazy because it was the last uh -huh. day Got it. So, but I'm still going to boardwalk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're going to boardwalk. Gina, where are you headed? I'm actually going to go to Animal Kingdom. I think that would be a good time. It's the weather's finally mellowing out. The animals will be more active because it's not so dead heat hot. And I'm going to be hanging out with Savannah View. Yeah, there you go. Now, Brad? Doing, Jumbo Kidani, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Brad, where are you at? Different Veterans show. Day weekend. Um, and I'm actually, once again, I'm with Gina. Uh, I've already avoided my favorite place on property. And so it's time for me to start plugging in. So I'd be over to Animal Kingdom and I don't care. Jumbo, Kadani, I'm good. Uh, well, I want Jumbo because I want to have scored another club level. So, <laughs> you know. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Right. And I don't care as long as I'm over there. And for a lot of the same reasons, it's just. It's it'd be great weather time, uh, relaxing. If I was feeling very patriotic, I might slip up and go to Bay Lake, Bay Lake so that I can be, um, so I can be right there for for like the flag um, lowering and everything at, at Animal at Magic Kingdom, and then still have access to Epcot by the monorail. So, but not nah, probably at Animal Kingdom. Yeah, I'm either going to Animal Kingdom or Polly, and I'm probably leaning towards Polly for this one. For the simple fact that um, I'd probably be bringing kids with me if I could. So I don't believe they get the day off most years. Usually that's my day to go hang out by myself because the wife and kids don't get the day off. But if they did and I could bring them, I would definitely be going down to the poly because I would want the five person studio. Right. And I can't really get that at Animal Kingdom. That's okay. So. We can cram into a studio for a holiday weekend if everybody's annual passes are up and it's just a quick three day trip. And that's so. a great that's a great point, Chad, because that's what this site's all about, right? Encouraging people to think through your choice. Yes. It's all about who you're bringing, when you're coming, and the fact that you have five. See, I don't have to think about that. I've only got four if all of us go. So, although I do have a new son in law, so I guess I have to take him all the time now. So I guess I'm up to five. So I'm going to be calling you for advice, Chad. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Right. So there you go. So, so that's where I'm going for Veterans Day. 
Okay. And I think next up on the list, we're, we're going to go back in two weeks for Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> and I don't get the day off after the day after Thanksgiving. So I usually work that day because there's usually nothing going on and it's like getting paid to do nothing day. But <laughs> that being said and done, if I were to go to Disney, it is on my bucket list to go to the cabins that weekend at Copper Creek. Oh, okay. And it, dreaming, dreaming big. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Because it's a long enough trip that you could really check in and get some quality time enjoying the cabins. Mm -hmm. They're going to have the Christmas decorations up. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So you get Wilderness Lodge with Christmas time, right? Yeah. The points aren't expensive at Thanksgiving as they are at Christmas time going for there. Oh. And there's no federal, there's no like extended holiday during that first two weeks of cheap point season. Okay. So oh. that's when I'm, I'm going to sneak in and, and get my cabins in. And not only that, but my buddy Willie, when I did his interview with him and he's already posted here as well. So uh, our Thanksgiving is our annual Copper Creek trip. Just just bought to get four nights that week, right? So I am like going there to like crash Willie's uh, family deal and buy him a drink at Geyser Point. So that's what I'm doing there, okay? He convinced me on that episode. Yep, I'm crashing because I'm, I need to do what Dan Cockrell said and watch that Christmas tree go up. So if it comes up the day after Thanksgiving, I'm there sitting in Copper Creek, sitting above the, um, sitting above the lobby, watching that tree come up. Nice. Yeah, that's all my list. Pete, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? So Thanksgiving is all about food, and I am all about food. And the resort to me that's all about food is Animal Kingdom and that oh, yeah. Animal Kingdom Villas, and that's where I'm going. I'm gonna eat at Jico on Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna eat at Boma the next day, and I'm gonna eat at Sanaa the next day, and that's gonna be my long weekend and loosen my belt. <laughs> you ever stretchy <laughs> pants? Stretchy pants. Right. <laughs> Well, see, now, if you're at Copper Creek with Gina and I, you can take the boat over to the Contemporary, where they usually host the DVC Thanksgiving dinner, okay? Yeah. So you and so, 45 are friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so there we go. Brad, did we get you on this one? No, not yet. Um, you kind of messed me up. I had it in mind. When you, you sold me on the cabins, that's great. But I am actually going to stick with my plan. Since I'm doing, since I'm doing all of this in one year, right? I'm yeah. right. This is my plan. We're gonna do all of this one year. Yeah, of course. One year. We're gonna be buying points from Chad because he's the only guy in this group here that has that many points. Oh. So. <laughs> hey, hey, did you not see like like? Here we go. Nope. Not that one. Gotta be renting points here. That one. There we go. <laughs> DVC <laughs> rental store, man. Right. Got they got the hookup for you, brother. So. So um. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be, well, no, I just lost my train of thought. I was going to be at the Grand Floridian. And and the main reason was because, oh, now I totally lost what I was, my main reason for going there. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm the cabins, I guess. <laughs> oh, come on over, right? You can do another yeah. holiday there. Um, come on over, right? <laughs> I don't remember exactly why I was going to be over there because I hadn't been there yet. But, oh, I, yeah, I do too, no, because. Um, with the Christmas decorations going up, uh, that that's the resort. Now they won't all be up by through the entire weekend, probably. But hopefully, if the gingerbread house up is up and everything, then I've satisfied my wife's craving to go to Grand Floridian because she dreams every Christmas <laughs> of being in the Grand Floridian lobby, just seeing the incredible things that are there. So. And I happen to plan on being somewhere else for Christmas, so I got to go there to appease my wife. So. Oh, happy wife, happy life. We know yeah. how that goes, right? Yeah. So <laughs> um, our buddy Mark says, uh, we did Thanksgiving last year at Saratoga and the week after that at Copper Creek, Ooh, and he good. loves Saratoga. Oh, good to know. I'm loving the, the new refurbs that are happening. Okay. So and I can't wait to Copper Creek. That would be nice. Uh -huh. yeah, be yeah, there we go. And then... Dan says, we stayed at Copper Creek two years ago for a Thanksgiving trip. Nothing gets you in the Christmas spirit more than the Wilderness Lodge at Christmas time. Everything's so beautiful. Yeah. 
Yep. So there you go. So so that is Thanksgiving as well. And I think we've covered all the comments there. Let's let's move over to Christmas time. And I just have to cringe at the point charts on this one. Okay. <laughs> We're just we're, dreaming we're, here. We're in yeah. fantasy land all along here, so exactly. I don't think exactly. uh, I don't think we're worrying about point charts, are we? Oh, I have to. I, I can't not. Like you know, <laughs> I just I can't not worry about point charts. So, Gina, where are you going for Christmas? So it was funny because at first I'm like, oh, I'm doing grand flow for that gingerbread house, and then I thought I want to be at Alani. I would do Alani at Christmas. I love Hawaii at Christmas time. I love it. It's perfect weather. The uh, um, waves are huge. I'm doing Alani. <laughs> I'm having a Hawaiian Christmas. Nice. I would. I didn't even think that about that. that I was doing Grand Flow, and I'm like, no, I want Hawaiian. I want the Hawaiian vibe. So, Pete, where are you going? I think that's. This is where I want to be at um, Wilderness Lodge. I think that's the. I think that's the obvious choice. But I, to me, it's if I'm going to and and if we're living in the real world, I'm probably never ever going to go to Disney at Christmas time, but for, for Christmas. But, uh, if I was going to be there, the idea of being at wilderness lodge with it, a very Christmassy atmosphere in my mind, that would be the place I would want to be. Got it. Got it, Brad. And interestingly enough, I've, um, actually I haven't stayed there on the Christmas day, but had, we've kind of done several trips where we were there during the Christmas celebration times. And uh, I love Disneyland. Their Christmas is amazing. But um, my first real Christmas trip to Disney World is what made me buy my second contract. And there's just something unique. And it, and it just grabs my heart about Animal Kingdom and their tree. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to remember if it isn't the, the tree. Is it the Kadani one that's so incredible and unique? Uh, they're both nice. I just can't remember. But I, all I know is it's just, it's for, it doesn't scream Christmas. But it doesn't. But it's so Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's Christmas it. in a different country. Yeah. Like, and it and I, just, I didn't, I didn't mention that with my Thanksgiving, but I was thinking yeah. that as well as that. Plus I'd probably get a little of that yeah. animal kingdom and, Christmas uh-huh. if I was there for Thanksgiving. So. And uh, yeah. uh, the other thing I was going to say was you know, exactly what Pete said because of all the dining and the options that are there, I would, and because I'm not going to want to be in a single park, if I somehow got stuck being at Disney World on Christmas Day, I am going to be staying. It's a resort-only stay. Yeah. And of all the resorts that I could stay and not leave, it's my beloved Animal Kingdom. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm looking at the point charts here. Okay. And while I would love to take more than a three or four day week weekend, I can't go to Alani for just a, a an extended. No. Yeah, no. I can't. It's the same. It's the same flight for me. Yeah. <laughs> but that being said and done, I'm going to look at the point charts and I'm going to go Saratoga standard because I'm like point stingy here. <laughs> and the other thing is I did an interview with a young lady who talked about the Christmas tree trail over at Saratoga yeah. Springs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so I wouldn't mind, you know, checking that out. And then uh, I've already got my Christmas fix over from Thanksgiving. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the cabins. So now I need to feel like I need to save some points and go back over to a Saratoga standard and, and kind of balance things out. That's what I'm doing there as well. Now I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but it seems like um, Saratoga and old Key West are the two top resorts where people will decorate themselves. Uh-huh. They'll, they'll decorate their rooms and their windows and, and for the ones that have the little balconies. Uh-huh. That's a good thought for Saratoga because there's a lot of decorations there too that are just people doing it, which is kind of cool. Interesting, cool. yeah. Good point. Yeah, that is. I think it completely violates a lot of the DVC rules if you start yeah. banging lights up in the windows yeah. and that kind of thing. But, um, so I do want to point that out, but... I could see people going a little crazy there. Yeah, okay. Definitely. And I do know like our mentor, Sue, who helped us get into DVC, she keeps an owner's locker down there of a third one for like a toy train set and Christmas decorations. Cause they yeah. go in December every year. And so they just have an extra locker down there just for Christmas decorations. So mm-hmm. I have heard of that as well. But coming back in and circling up on some more comments. So Holly says, I choose a cabin for Christmas. 
Imagine a tree in the living room plus a tree oh, in the main God. lobby. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Holly, you, you're either down one of those ones outside and put it up in your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. What is it with you guys in like promoting, you know, breaking the rules here? <laughs> like, Christmas vacation going on here. <laughs> or you could pay like $500 for a little Charlie Brown Christmas tree from the Disney Ooh. floral shop. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, man, oh man, oh man. Right. So Mark says, I always cheated with Christmas and go the first week of December at Copper Creek points on Christmas week. is just way too many, yep. but if he had the points, he'd go to grand flow and Ron is right there with them. So grand flow for the gingerbread house, decorated trees, music, and just an unbelievable feeling. Mm -hmm. And then Dan's going to be next door to Holly at a cabin at wilderness lodge is a bucket list for us over Christmas break. And just park me in front of the fireplace next to the tree in the wilderness lobby. There you go as well. And so that's what we've got going on for that. Jared asked a good question here, Gina. Uh, Maybe well, you can give him an update as to yes. when the West Coast will so, open. You know what I know, which is we don't know. So <laughs> basically our governor said they're in talks and we don't have a date as of yet. So that's, the answer is we don't know. But they are talking about opening up the theme parks there, which they is pretty talk, awesome. They're talking, but who knows how long that's yeah. going to go on for. And, but they've been talking for since they made the first announcements. They, right. they didn't stop talking, but it's just nothing comes out of it. Huh, it's like, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah to, well, there we go. Say, I never picked. Uh, I never picked the Grand Californian on any of any of my long weekends. But that was more because coming from New York, I'm probably not going to. Los Angeles or Anaheim for a long weekend, but uh, that is a beautiful. <laughs> that would be a beautiful occasion. I would actually love to visit there at Christmas time, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it, it would not be for a long weekend. <laughs> I have been to Grand Cal during Christmas time, and they do a gingerbread tree there as well, or a gingerbread building. The last time it was a a model of the Grand Californian done as a gingerbread house. Okay. And it was incredible, just awe-inspiring, okay? And really made you want to come up there and uh, look into it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, But it was pretty well guarded and roped off, okay? And it smells so good. You can smell it all the way when you're walking in, all the way down. You can smell it. So that's, <laughs> that's, what, I, that's what I always want to do with the beach club. Uh, the, is it beach club or boardwalk where they do the carousel? Beach, Maybe it's beach club. Beach Club with the chocolate carousel. Yeah, the chocolate like, carousel. I'm always like, oh, well, I'm just going to that horse. I tripped and bit the horse. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate it when that happens, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's pretty much what we've got for this show. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in. A reminder to download the My DVC Points app if you haven't. And also do a final sh shout out and thank you to our sponsors, DVC Resale Market, DC Rental Store, Bonera Financial, and Incredible Vacation Homes. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you get a chance, leave us a review on iTunes. I haven't seen too many here on the Community Hall podcast yet, but we'd love to come back in and get some of your reviews as well. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little mini holiday weekend show about holiday weekends. So, <laughs> And we want to thank the community members for suggesting this as a topic. We thought it was a pretty decent topic to pull yeah, off on a better. holiday weekend. Definitely. Yeah. So that being said and done, I can also come back in and roll a special thank you video to our Patreons as well and our sponsors. So let me come back in and do that. And with that, we will say good night at the end of this video. Bye. See you real soon, everybody. Bye.